Canva just put out an update that is a game changer. I made another video about this and it took forever to do this effect. Now you can use the typewriter effect on your text in Canva. Oh, yay! Let me show you how in this video. Hi, I'm Wonderful Lida, a digital course video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach video production to service providers that they can film once to teach many. If you have a course idea and want to learn how to film yourself, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have new videos out every Wednesday. This page is complete and I want to add my typewriter effect. So if I click on animate, it's not going to show me typewriter. Instead, it's going to show me ways I can animate my entire page. So let's say I want, that's a great way for me to animate my page, but I want my text here to type in. So to do that, I just need to click on that text itself and then text animation is gonna appear up here. It's going to allow me to type that. So there we go, that animation is in. And say I want the rest of it to animate differently. So any text that I want to animate a certain way, I just click on the text. I like that. And then I can click on the text again. So click on this text. Say if I click on it and that doesn't appear on the side, I just go over to animate, make sure text animations is up. And then I can have that all animate. So I can preview that slide. When I taught this before, I showed you how to duplicate your slides so that on each slide, a different letter would appear and you can do the typewriting effect. If I play this video, you see that it types it out one at a time. However, this is tedious. The benefit of this is that you can see this line. The line appears as I'm typing. So if I preview it, I can see that the line moves and it looks like I'm typing into a search bar. So if you want to type into a search bar, I'm sorry, but you're still going to have to do this method because it does work best. However, if you just want to animate this text itself, all you really have to do is, first off, I can click on animate. So this is my page animation. It can have no animation or it can have animation. And then you click on the text itself. If I select typewriter, it's going to type each letter in. However, as you see, when I selected this typewriter, it didn't add that line that showed that it was typing until the end. So if I preview this, you can see the difference between having to duplicate each of the slides and adding it that way versus using the text animation slide alone. So let's see that one more time. So you can use this typewriter effect for any slides. However, if you do want that indicator, you are going to have to still do the old fashioned way by typing it in one at a time. So I hope that this video is gonna save you some time when animating using the typewriter effect within Canva. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment. I have new videos to help service providers with digital course video production each and every Wednesday. Until next time, peace.